Coming up in this video, I'm going to show you how you can ch exchange whether you want to add or remove your expansion cards to where you can add different uh, capabilities to your computer right here on ES Repair. Here we are looking at a typical motherboard. Uh, this is an older version and it came out with USB 1.1. Now most computers nowadays are coming out with built-in 2.0. Now if you run out of USB uh, ports you can also expand and add more ports by just using what's called an expansion card. Now, expansion card is exactly what the name implies. It allows you to expand your motherboard's capabilities. In other words, this one here is a 2.0. Well, the motherboard is only a 1.1. So, to upgrade, I can add one of these, and I have now USB 2.0 capabilities. Now, there is a USB 3.0 version which will allow you to upgrade your computer to add 3.0 capabilities. But I'll go into that in details in another video. Uh, it's simple to install these. Uh, you can also uh, install uh, network interface cards known as NIC. Uh, these here is for the Ethernet. Uh, you can get audio cards and graphic cards and whatnots for the PCI. Uh, we're going to work with the PCI, which is these white slots here. Uh, they do look like PCI Express. Uh, they're not to be confused. Uh, the PCI Express, uh, the connectors are reversed than they are here. Uh, this one over here is the uh, AGP, which I will go into all that in more details in upcoming videos. Uh, <clears throat> when you install these, now be sure that you read the manual because sometimes you need to install the drivers first before you install the card. And sometimes you can install the card before you do the drivers. So be sure you read the, uh, the owner's manual before you install one. Now to do this, it's it's fairly simple. All you need is an open uh, PCI slot. The connectors, you don't want to touch them. When you do these, you only touch them by the, the metal plate or by the edges. Don't touch the contacts or anything on the PCB. Now this, all these uh, expansion cards come with uh, these little tabs. Now the tabs will fit down here in the bottom just below the motherboard. So you want to make sure that you line them up. Over here you have the 90 degree angle. Uh, this is where the screw goes in as you see up here at the top. Now some of these computers will just have a metal cover you remove the screw, remove the cover, and then you can insert your uh, expansion card. To install one, you simply just line up the card.
Then you gently insert it, making sure that you line up the tab to the hole so it can slide in. Then be sure that your, your indentations that you see here, make sure they do line up on your uh, expansion card. Now, once you have it firmly in place, you take the screw that you removed from the to get the cover off and place it back into the hole that the screw came out of. Being sure that you do not cross thread them and you only want to make these hand tight. This will secure your card so your card doesn't move. So, as you can see, you can't move it. Now, as long as you have an available uh, PCI slot, you can add additional expansion cards, whether it's a network card, a audio card, graphics card, whatever the case may be, you can still add them. Now, keep in mind that when you're installing graphic cards, they can take up to two or more slots, depending on uh, the make and model of the graphics card because a lot of these high powered ones take up more than one slot. So you want to make sure that you're not blocking the airflow to your graphics card. Uh, again, uh, here's a network adapter. This is for the Ethernet. Again, you can do the same thing. You line up the holes. Make sure you got the slots lined up and gently push in using the edge of the boards on each side. Again, you'll see how down here or up here at the top how I got it lined up. Next, all you have to do is take the screw that you removed. making sure that they line up and make it hand tight and there you go you have just now added an expansion card well this concludes this video I've shown you how simple it is to exchange and add or remove your expansion cards when you're wanting to upgrade your PC I hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date to new video uploads. I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.